Alrighty folks, this is Lurch from Ireland Gaming and welcome back to the Back to Basics series. Today we're going to be talking about ammo, ammo fabricators and metal resource boxes to keep your ammo back boxes filled. These are ammo parts boxes and this is an ammo barrel. You can find these in the processed resources tab of your e-menu. They both do exactly the same thing as you'll see from the stats on the right. They're just alternative visual models. I personally like to use the ammo parts boxes because they're more boxy and they got this cool little design on the top. For ammo box placement, you want to keep this as far away from other delicate components as you can. Because when they go up, they go up good, and they explode big time. For this reason, I'm going to keep it a couple of blocks away from this missile array at the back. This leaves it some room to explode should it get detonated, um, and should make it a little bit harder to hit. I'm actually going to put this closer to the center of the hull. Now, the amount of ammo you need depends on what sort of weapon systems you have installed. I don't plan to go too heavy on the weapon systems, so I'm only going to go with that many ammo barrels. It actually is probably a better idea to move these to different parts of your ship and spread them out a little. There are plenty of different methods for replacing ammo barrels and uh, different ways to make sure that they don't do too much damage to your ship when they go up, but for now I'm going to tell you that whenever an ammo box explodes, it detonates in a 3 meter radius. So these, whenever they go up, they will all explode and then they will destroy anything that is within 3 blocks. So the explosion won't hit this block here. And that means it won't hit this one here, which is kind of important. It will, however, go all the way to the side of the hull and blow out this section, which could be an issue, and we'll want to reinforce the hull later on to make sure that that doesn't happen. We will possibly be moving ammo boxes in the future because I find that it's better putting them in and deciding on their final placement closer to the end of a build, but I figured I'd put one, some in now to just explain their purpose. Another thing that is going to be almost certainly necessary are ammunition processors. Ammo barrels, while they have a certain amount of regeneration, they do not produce that much, and it's only about one ammo every couple of seconds. We'll want to have ammunition processors to help speed up that process. This converts metal, which is one of the resources, and stores it in the ammo barrels as ammunition. Each ammo processor that you place costs power, so it's something to bear in mind not to spam just too many of them. I'm going to put a couple of them down here just to see how it goes. We're not going to know exactly how many we need, so it's worth whenever placing these to leave a little bit of extra space just in case you need a few more of them. They're only two blocks long, so you can actually put them in other parts of the ship and they don't explode. But the block itself is quite expensive, so you don't want to leave it somewhere really vulnerable. Don't use it as armor. Not the best idea. To actually make use of these, we actually need metal resources as well. You'll find in the raw resources tab, we have this big selection of different resource types. And these are the things that you build your ships out of in the campaign. In the designer here, we have... Uh, infinite amounts of things, so that's great. But for our campaign, we're definitely gonna need one or two resource storage boxes. For now, we only need metal. And for any ship that uses a, an ammunition processor bay, I like to add at least one metal box. For now, I'm gonna just add it nearby. This is actually in a pretty safe place. There's nothing really exploding nearby and it's close to the center of the ship. So it will take a while for any detonation to destroy it. It's worth protecting these quite a bit. If the metal resource box gets destroyed in battle, you lose absolutely everything that was in that box, so you don't want that to happen. This small resource box stores 10,000 metal, which is actually loads for most battles, and we'll keep these ticking over for absolutely ages. Before we finish the episode off, I figure we might as well fire the missiles now that we have the ammunition necessary to do so. If you move your player character close to the firing piece of a weapon, or in this case the missile controller, you'll see in the bottom left that you can control the missiles via the different uh, control groups. If I have selected all, you can press the control key to fire the missiles. I have a Deepwater Guard Marauder set up over there with its AI turned off just for target practice. Let's press control and fire. After firing manually, you can press the caps lock key, and this will make you follow your projectile. Looks really, really cool. Now you'll see we've hit the target there. It was obviously aimed at something lower in the hull. 
Or did we just run out of fuel before we had hit the target? Still, these missiles are pretty effective. Let's fire another batch. They're reloaded, you can see on the right hand side at the bottom, our 900 ammo isn't going that far, so we may need more in the future. But if we fire another batch, let's see what damage it does. We'll follow it over here. You see that the trail dropped a little bit, or sort of changed near the end of the flight path? That means that our missiles don't have enough fuel for this range. We're still quite far away from it there. I think we're nearly a kilometre, based on what I can see here. So, those missiles have a reasonably good range, but we can limit that in other ways later on. That's more or less it, and that is a basic ammunition setup, working and producing ammunition. That will probably be enough to keep these missiles on the go, but when we add future weapon systems we may need more, and we may need less, and that's something that you'll have to tweak as the build goes on. For now, we're going to leave it at that, and in the next episode we're going to work on building our very first cram cannon. I do hope you enjoyed the episode, any likes, subs or comments are really really awesome, I love hearing from you guys and I read every single comment. As always, take it handy, and have a bloody good day!